and I saw a young man on, on, on the ground um, with two gunshot wounds. I started CPR. You can hear the pain in this local mother's voice after she tried to save the life of a 17-year-old who was shot and killed in the parking lot of Garfield High School Thursday afternoon. The teen has been identified as Amar Murphy Payne, a beloved member of the school's football team. Police say Murphy Payne was shot while trying to break up a fight. This is a look at the suspect. Police believe he is also a teenager. So far, he hasn't been caught. The city of Seattle and community members gather today for an unveiling of an updated space to remember the lives lost to gun violence. Fox 13's Dave Detling was there and Dave, this is just one of the events being held to honor Murphy Payne's life. Good evening. The grieving and mourning continues this as classes here were canceled today at Garfield High School. They will resume again on Tuesday. Now with the loss of life, there have been a lot of visuals, as you mentioned, including here at Garfield High School. This all coming on National Gun Violence Awareness Day. At Garfield High School, a bulldog is missing from the gridiron. As this team gathered, they remembered and grieved for the loss of their teammate, Amar Murphy Payne. This vigil coming a day after the 17-year-old lost his life to gun violence. Police say he was shot by a high school age suspect while he tried to break up a fight in the school parking lot. His name was Jaquan, Jaquan Bailey. Yeah. Love you, kiddo. This Seattle dad knows the pain the Garfield High School community is feeling. He lost his 18-year-old son to gun violence a few years ago. If you're going through something like what happened the other day with the young fellow at, at Garfield, just lean on your friends, lean on your family, lean on your community, lean on God. He, along with other families impacted by gun violence, gathered at MLK Junior Memorial Park, less than two miles away from the football vigil. They gathered for the unveiling of park improvements with the goal of creating a safe space for kids and teens. For uh, it to be a park where the kids can come and enjoy themselves, learn basketball, learn whatever sport they want to play. It's meant to be a park for healing. Those in attendance kept their Garfield neighbors in their thoughts. I do live in that neighborhood, yeah. But but no, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy whenever any young person loses their life, you know, at such a young age. And it happens too often. In and as for the vigil here at Garfield High School on the football field, a lot of people coming out to show their support to the family and football team. Meantime, as for the suspect accused of killing that young student, if you have any information, Seattle Police want to hear from you. Live outside Garfield High School tonight, Dave Dittling, Fox 13 News.